Hi, my name is Tennille Gofton. I'm an assistant professor at Chulik School of Medicine Dentistry in the Division of, or Department of Clinical Neurological Sciences. I'm the lead author on the article Communication Challenges, a Spotlight on New Onset Refractory Status Epilepticus. Colleagues who wrote this article with me include Dr. Nora Wong, who's Executive Director of the Norris Institute, Dr. Larry Hirsch, who is Chief of EEG and Epilepsy and Co-Director of the Yale Comprehensive Epilepsy Centre, and Dr. Sarah Hawker, who comes from uh, Rochester's uh, Mayo Clinic and works as a neurocritical care physician, a neurologist, and specializes in status epilepticus. So key takeaway messages from this article are that new onset refractory status epilepticus, or NORS, is a rare disease. Um, it affects previously healthy individuals and it can have outcomes that are life-threatening, life-changing, or may even result in death. As such, it's really important that uh, we work together to improve patient care. This article explores communication between institutions, communication within the healthcare team, and communication between uh, the patient, family, and healthcare team in order to provide strategies uh, to enhance communication and provide more seamless patient care. One important element that we've explored in this is how to incorporate palliative care into the care team, whether or not we expect death to occur for a particular individual. And that's because communication in the palliative care team is their area of expertise, and they are able to navigate difficult situations with uncertainty and help provide support both for the patient and family, but also for the healthcare team when there's uncertainty in a very difficult case. So new onset refractory status epilepticus, or NORS, is a good model for uh, rare diseases. Um, it has a lot of difficulties that cause communication to be challenging, and that's common in rare diseases. So in our article, we outline intentional changes in strategies that can be considered um, on a level between institutions, uh, between healthcare teams within one institution, and between the healthcare team and families. And as such, uh, it provides a framework to improve and enhance that communication. Improved communication will help patient care. Incorporating uh, services outside of neurocritical care, the ICU can be helpful also. So incorporating palliative care team um, to help with a palliative approach to care, even if end of life is not expected in that case, can be very beneficial. So again, the article outlines intentional changes both on a patient care level, but also an institutional level to help promote awareness and approaches to rare diseases. Really, one of the important things is to access uh, patient care and timely clinical management for NORS very quickly. If one doesn't even know that that entity exists or doesn't recognize that that's what you're treating, then that's not possible. So uh, raising awareness of new onset refractory status epilepticus and an awareness of what to do when it happens and recognizing the disease are all really important, but it's also important to know where your resources are and how to quickly transfer that patient to an appropriate level of care. So in the end, applying some of the strategies that uh, we have discussed and explored in the article will hopefully help enhance transfer of patient to an appropriate level of care, thereby creating better patient care. So an important element of, of researching a rare disorder, such as NORS, is to do collaborative research uh, between multiple medical centers. And so our group is striving to encourage and help enable multi-centered collaborations between different institutions so that we can more easily study this and get better data to help support our patient care. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www dot mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.